On October 19, 2014, Press TV lost one of its hardest working correspondents, Serena Shim. She did her final report on heavy clashes in the Syrian city of Kobani between Daesh terrorists and local Kurds. Serena and her camerawoman were returning to their hotel when a truck crashed into their car. The camerawoman sustained severe injuries but survived the incident. Luck, however, wasn't on Serena's side. Accounts of Serena's death, who was transferred to a different hospital, vary. Early reports suggested that she had lost her life at the scene of the crash. This is why later accounts said that she had passed away due to heart failure after being transferred to the hospital nearly 30 minutes later. Turkish authorities blamed the incident on the camera woman who had been behind the wheel at the time of the incident. There were no follow-up investigations by authorities in Ankara. Serena's death came only two days after she told Press TV that Turkish intelligence had accused her of espionage for the country's opposition parties. I'm very surprised at this accusation. I've even thought of actually approaching Turkish intelligence and because I have nothing to hide and I've never done anything aside from my job and I'd like to make that apparent to them. Serena's colleagues say she had told them a day before her death that she had with her documents that would implicate Turkey's role in the rise of Daesh and other terrorists in Syria. Serena herself gave us uh, a heads up just uh, less than 24 hours before she was uh, apparently killed on the road back uh, home when she was leaving the area where she was reporting at and coming back to her family and to her children while uh, having uh, with her uh, evidence that implicates international agencies like the WHO for aiding and abating terrorist organizations that were wreaking havoc inside of Syria, apparently with the help of certain uh, Turkish uh, factions or certain Turkish uh, security uh, authorities. We still don't know the entire truth. Seven years following her unfortunate death, no further information has been released regarding the fatal accident. Serena started working for Press TV in 2007. She did reports in different countries, including Lebanon, Iraq, Ukraine, and Turkey. Serena Shim, Press TV, Donetsk, Eastern Ukraine. Serena Shim, Press TV, Tripoli. Serena Shim, Press TV, Istanbul. She was a U.S. citizen of Lebanese origin. The U.S. State Department, however, rejected her family's call to probe her death, saying it, quote, does not conduct investigations into deaths overseas. Two days before her fatal accident, Serena had said on live TV that she had been targeted for her investigative reports regarding Ankara's direct support for terrorist groups whose evidence had been largely concealed at the time. I am a bit frightened about what they might use against me. Uh, we were some of the first people on the ground, if not the first people, to to get that story of those Takfiri militants going in through the Turkish border from the Bab al-Hawa Rihanli border being sent in. Uh, I got images of them in the, in World Food Organization trucks. It was very apparent that they were Takfiri militants by their beards and by the clothes that they wore. And they were going in there with NGO trucks. Syria has been gripped by foreign-backed militancy since March 2011. The Syrian government says the U.S. and its allies are aiding Takfiri terrorist groups that are wreaking havoc in the Arab country. Syria 2010 has nothing to do with Syria 2011 that saw a war waged by the international community with the help of Turkey and with the lead of the United States of America. It's not that we should hold them responsible. They are the reason for the havoc that was wreaked inside of Syria. They are the reason and the main instigators and founding fathers of ISIS and Daesh and Al-Qaeda, which we never knew in our regions before the U.S. occupation 